Yeah, had he been under 100, I think, you know, we would have because he was just, he was so locked in. And uh, I know that, um, I think after the third inning, they had no hits against him. And he was just filling up the strike zone all night. He was in attack mode. Breaking ball was tremendous. Slider was solid. And uh, he made quality pitch after pitch. And you know, he gave up two runs there early and settled down, got in a tremendous rhythm. And from that point forward, he was in total control. Um, you left him in the, to bunt there in the seventh. Did you think at that point you could have used someone off the bench as a pinch hitter, or did you want him to be able to get that chance to get the win there? Had, had we got uh, runners in scoring position, we were going to uh, hit for him there. And uh, But once we didn't do that, then we told him we let him stay in to, uh, to bunt. So needless to say, he was very happy at that point. He was, <laughs> he, you got to fight him to take the ball from him, and he was happy. But he set the tone. All night he did a great job, 10 punch outs, which was huge. And uh, to see him attack that way, um, as I've said many times, this guy leaves everything he has on the field, gives it all to you, and uh, he battles. He's a battler, knows how to make pitches, and uh, he, he will not quit. I know the runners were going in that situation, but you don't see too many guys score from first on a single. Well, there's not too many D. Gordons in the league. That's <laughs> impressive. You know, Martin being able to do that and uh, get those runs back for us, a tremendous piece of hitting there with Martin and, and D was practically halfway uh, down the line and so it made it pretty easy for him to be able to do that. And then you know you get to the seventh inning and that at bat by Yelly, lefty, lefty, Smith is a tough left-hander and Yelly stayed right on that ball, split the gap perfect and uh, able to knock in two and then Prado changes places with him. So you, know, you can't say enough about what Martin Prado has, has meant to this ball club, what he's doing, the way he's playing, and for him to step up like that, three RBI night, huge. Uh, but that at bat by Yelly in the seventh to uh, to break the tie was was a tremendous at bat, lefty lefty. It looks like you're kind of starting to see now these last week or so with with the D Yelly. You know, you don't have Stanton, of course, but kind of that top of the order kind of functioning the way I think he's kind of envisioned. Yeah, it's, it's exactly what we envisioned as we come into this season. And, you know, th this lineup, up and down the lineup, there is quality. These guys, they Frankie and Lenny do a great job working approach. They preach it. They work it every day. And now you're starting to see it kick in and the quality of at-bats, executing, taking team at-bats, moving runners over. And I think that because of that, you're seeing the results that we've We've had, especially of late, I think we've won seven out of nine. I know that's three series in a row, but um, the at-bats have been absolutely outstanding. What do you think it says, taking three series in a row? I mean, because it's late in the season, the season hasn't gone well, kind of folded up at this point. Yeah, I, I think it speaks volumes about the character in that clubhouse. There's a pride factor in there. They know that there is a good – this team is much better than its record. You, we can point the finger at so many things as to why, but it shows the heart and the pride and the character that these guys have. And they come every day, they get their work, they prepare to, to, to play at 7 o'clock, and you're seeing that now. And uh, it, it's fun to be a part of, it's fun to watch. And some huge, how about the double play by Rojas in the first inning? Tremendous mm -hmm. double play. I think we turned three on the night. And. Uh, you know, TK to get that one in the eighth inning was tremendous there, too, to uh, be able to do it. But helped by three double plays, but the play Rojas made, he, he made a couple of outstanding defensive plays. And we've been spoiled with Etchy. And uh, when Etchy's on, on uh, shutdown right now and having a guy like Rojas step up and do it, something you tip your hat.